This week, the electoral body announced that it had again extended the deadline of the update exercise of the voters' registers to the 11th of this month to enable all those who are not yet registered to do so. This was based on the fact that some eligible persons may not have registered under the ongoing general update exercise, partly on grounds that they are already registered under the 2010-2011 National Voters Register and neither have they registered under the National ID project. Joseph Ocheno, a political analyst, thinks different. According to him, the extension is a clear manifestation of a political misfortune that Uganda is going through. The process of uh, um, extensions for uh, registration is a sign and a manifestation of how much shambles we've got in the entire process. <clears throat> in fact, it's not double extension, it's probably treble extension, and there's probably evidence that uh, it might go beyond the 11th, let alone the fact that it could probably even be legally challenged. Originally, when the entire process started, we were promised that um, um, this would be a holistic exercise that would involve, and involve the registration and national genuine identification of all Ugandans, both at home and abroad. In fact, I know a number of people in the diaspora who, had it been the case that the deadline was the fourth, <clears throat> they would have made it into Uganda. Had they known that the extension was to the 11th, they would have been in Uganda. And what does this mean to the country's political development? There is a um, lack of capacity within the system. Two, there is a lack of clarity. And then three, Ugandans cannot really believe anything that this government tells them, or indeed anything that the Electoral Commission actually does tell them. Now, really, if you actually hold, have three extensions in two weeks, what it basically means is that you don't plan, you do it piecemeal. Against this background drop of interpretation, Ocheno is advising the Electoral Commission and the government to come out publicly and apologize to Ugandans for mishandling the electoral process. I think the government should basically come out and apologize to Ugandans that they've mishandled it. Uh, after all, they're using our public resources. Um, the Electoral Commission should stand up and apologize. And in fact, the Electoral Commission chairperson, who's an engineer, uh, should come up um, and in the name of his own credibility, integrity and interest, interest and in his own legacy to say that they actually got it wrong. You know, they should stop talking semantics and simply talk about real things. However, the commission's spokesperson, Jotham Talema, explains that the move was painfully taken due to public outcry but emphasizes that this time round there will be no extension and therefore those who have not yet registered should use this chance. So it is not poor planning, because for us we planned to carry out this update from 7th up to 30th. And we communicated it. But what happened is 7th, 8th, the first few weeks, people are not taking the exercise seriously. Then towards the closure, everyone is running out of work, out of, out of the house, running to register. So. They bombard the update centers. Please register us. Please, 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 please. Lines are many. 11th will be last of the last. Even now we have been pushed to the wall as a commission to ensure that we give this extension. Updating of voters' registers, which commended which commenced on the 7th of April is the first activity of the electoral roadmap for the 2015-2016 general elections. The electoral body emphasizes that 11th of this month will be the last day for the update exercise. Now to be a fully Ugandan citizen, it is upon you to speed up so that you can go and check for your particulars. Joslyn Achibule, WBS News.